The National President of the Female Arts Association of Nigeria has had over 70 exhibitions both home and abroad, and we've had the privilege to cover some of them. Now, to appreciate all that goes into it, we visited Chinze Ojobo's studio before her Beyond the Barriers exhibition in Lagos. This is Chinze Ojobo's workspace. As expected, her specialty, acrylic on canvas, jute and mixed media images are all in view. This particular collection forms part of the Beyond the Barriers exhibition, which she was preparing for at the time of this visit to her studio in Lagos. So this exhibition is all about you know, encouraging the people to go forward, to do, take steps, to, to, to still you know, think of actualizing their dreams because um, it's like a situation of people no more believing they don't know what will happen again it's like like now everybody's thinking the covid is over then there's a new spike or a new variant coming up the omicron you know it's, it's disheartening you don't even know what is going on anymore and but in all in all in all we need to help ourselves by you know talking to ourselves you know, encouraging ourselves, you know, to take steps. We don't get into depression, we don't get into situations that are, you know, disheartening and all that. We should, you know, trust that things will be, that will be light at the end of the tunnel. It's reflected in the title from I Am Possible to Life's Choices and The Beat Goes On to many others, all revealing the silver lining in life despite the many challenges the world has faced recently due to the pandemic. I Am Possible, it's um, a, a, an acrylic on carved wood. It's about a woman, an old woman talking to, you know, like more like an advice from a mother, you know, like telling you to believe in yourself, believe that, you know, you can, you can do it. It says, if you, if you can believe it in your heart that you can do it, you can do it. So it's more or less like telling you that nothing is impossible unless, you know, you, you, know, you have to put it to work. You have to believe enough to push and do it. And then you see answers. So that's what it talks about. And there's another one that says, don't watch the clock. Do what the clock is doing. What is the clock doing? The clock keeps moving. The clock never stops. It keeps moving unless the battery is dead. But if once the battery is on, the clock keeps moving and so we need to keep moving you know we don't need to sit and wallow like you know the COVID came with all the negative things but somehow you know with the technology we are united the technology brought everybody together you know people use the internet we go online we see ourselves if you want to, if I want to participate in exhibitions like right now um, I, I was able to during this period participate in three auctions by the Chalkwell auction in the UK I was here in Nigeria and I participated in that auction and I mean there were so many other online exhibitions I participated in and all that so we, we there was you know the technology somehow uni united the people who brought us together so that's what I'm saying so rather than sit and wait let us join the you know the train work with other people let us go forward let us you know don't you know wallow and you know go forward. The goal is to cheer everyone up. Her detailed paintings full of texture, color and energy with symbols that depict not only where her passion lies but shows the amount of work that has gone into each piece feels like soul food. I have another one that the main artwork that I called Beyond the Barriers. It was like a barrier, all those negative stories like weighing people down but you know in the picture I made people rise above it the rose above that situation. So it's more or less like rising above your situation. Yes, there's a situation. And it's as if everybody's putting our hands together, our hands on deck, trying to sort this COVID-19 issue. Yes, it will be sorted out by the grace of God. And, but we also need to have the right mindset. And that's why I have another artwork I called, 
you know, good thoughts. You have to have positive thoughts that will make you believe, that will make you, you know, stay together, that will make you, you know, um, be able to be strong enough to go on with it. The national president of the Female Artists Association of Nigeria and founder of Culture Code, Arta Babuja, uses her images to amplify issues that concern her gender, calling a better deal for them. I've noticed a lot of you know, activities going on in the art world which wasn't there before the DG came. So I believe that the art scene in Nigeria is growing. The government is becoming well, more aware of you know, us. And um, because there was, there was a time it was as if the government didn't know there was visual art, that visual art existed. It was as if nothing, but with a new NGA now, I'm noticing that visual art is becoming more prominent in the, in the system, in the radar. We can actually see them in the radar. So I believe that it will grow and will grow more and more. And the visual artists will you know, be able to be recognized in this uh, nation and um, will go places. She holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in Fine and Applied Arts from the University of Nigeria, Unsuka, studied interior design in the United States, amongst other courses in public relations, curating, and art marketing. 